Howdy folks, and I've got the CR Laser Falcon set up with a 10 watt laser today and something came in in a black box from Creality. Creality is who makes the CR Laser Falcon and it's a great, it's a darn good product, but uh, we've got something in here that's going to make it even better. So Creality always steps up the game, they've stepped it up again and we're going to get into it. What you're about to see might be an industrial secret, but it will be seen on this channel for the first time. So here it is, the secret box from Creality that doesn't exist. You and just, just you and just me have seen this box. Yeah, it's a black box, a beautiful logo of Creality on it, but what's inside the box? Well, that is where things get interesting. Yeah, it's a complete kit for an air pump for the laser, including the attachment you're going to need for the air. And of course the hose and some tools. Uh, not sure. I think, yeah, that would be for securing it up above the laser. And also, oh, and this thing is heavy. Uh, there's also the bottom of the laser with a slot in it where the air hose will pass through to the uh, front yep and here's the pump itself and like I said uh, this is just between you and me you know nobody else has seen this but there it is and it's a nice has a nice rubber uh, bottom on it here that will take up vibration things so it'll run reasonably quiet but it'll produce a fair amount of air which will help the laser Okay, step one after we've unpacked all the goodies, I actually hooked the air line up here to the pump for, whoa, for a minute and plug the air pump in, turn it on, and yeah, it blows pretty good, pretty good air pressure. I took the laser off, the machine, obviously, and I removed the small black uh, lens that's at the bottom of this. Now, when you do that, be very careful not to touch the glass part of the lens if you can. You don't want to keep that really clean, so I put that back in the bag with the little tools that were included from Creality in this kit. And I put their kit on the laser and turned this on uh, to the thread so it's, you know, it's just finger tight kind of thing. And then to screw this on, I had to actually take this and here I'll show you. Ah, there we go. Turn it like that so you could screw it on. Once you get it screwed on, then you can turn your copper line or whatever back up. Because obviously the air is going to be coming out of here. Now, let's talk for a real quick situation about why would you want air on a laser anyways and I'll just show you this is a nasty cut here this is kind of extreme but without air that laser is going to make a lot of burn marks like this in your in your your product or your finish whatever yours with, with a craft if you have a, a, a air pump running you'll get even better than this you'll get a really nice clean cut line so when you're cutting engraving uh, the pump has nothing to do with engraving as far as I know I, I've checked with other people and they said no you don't just don't use it for engraving it has it's not going to do anything for engraving at all but for cutting it is you know it cut, gives you a really nice clean edge so it's it's a cool extra feature to have if you're going to be running a laser and for cutting uh, so right now the deal is I've got this mounted oh also this comes with the Corality kit so the magnet now goes back on like that it's magnetic. It's on the uh, shielded base now, and now we're back up. We're ready to roll. We can put this back in the machine, and we now have an air uh, kit on here that can uh, blast air down through when we're cutting. So we'll get back to that in a minute since I get assembled. Uh, another quick order of business. I'm just going to take this off here for a second. This is the pump, and I'm going to plug it in and just run it. I just want you guys to hear how noisy or how loud it is because you know what? There it is, it's running. I don't know how loud that sounds on a camera here, but uh, believe me, it is really quiet, but it's got a nice steady, um, let's see if we can't, uh, you know, we'll fill a bag up or something, there, there you go. But it's it's got a nice steady flow, but it's not noisy. A microphone might say different. It is not noisy, okay? <laughs> Okay, we're just about ready to do some cutting here. I need the computer out here so I can uh, run this machine. And we will just temporarily dra uh, drape the, uh, the line over the back here or something, I guess. And that way we can get hooked up and we can get, yeah, we can get going. Because uh, 
I kind of want to, you know, see this myself, how's it, how this is going to work out. Yeah. So, unfortunately, timing was a little off. I had the air pump running, and I just cut a little circle. And the idea on this piece of wood here was to just show you how clean the cut is because there is absolutely, there's no burn edges or anything around the area, well, especially on the product. Say if this was the product you were going for or the circle, it doesn't matter. The thing is, when you had the air pump on, you have absolutely no burn marks at all from the laser going through. In fact, uh, even the light, it's a little on the lighter side. Usually this is kind of black charcoal uh, where the laser cut, and it's actually a lighter brown color. And you can just see it. I mean, it is just a dead clean cut from the laser without any uh, overlapping marks. And certainly nothing like, uh, you know, this mess here that I made where, you know, I didn't even go through, but, you know, I had the laser cranked up, slow speed, and I really, you know, burned it up. But this is what happens when you use the air. When you're cutting, the air will just do that. So it's a simple situation. It's if you're cutting and you want to really clean, clean up the cut, then an air pump is that's the answer, you know. And what I'm showing you today, however, is uh, Creality's air pump. Now this system came in in the black box, and uh, from what I understand, I don't even know if there, it's on the market or available just yet. Creality shipped this thing over to me really quick, and so we don't have any links provided. Let's talk about it. I want to thank Creality for sending this over to me so we could check it out. And yeah, it's a simple kit. It's easy to hook up. You don't really need any instructions to it. It's, it's all pretty much, you know, no-brainer. But uh, the uh, finish job on cutting wood, I cannot express how much difference there is. Uh, I tried to show it to you a little bit, but with the pump, you get a much cleaner, much uh, almost a colder, you know, cut kind of thing. And this is a 10 watt laser. Imagine uh, down the road when we get into bigger lasers that are more powerful and instead of cutting thin pieces of plywood like this, just imagine what you could do, you know, with a thousand or two thousand watts or something where you could chop two by fours and everything else. We wouldn't need table saws or, uh, you know, <laughs> wouldn't need compounds, wouldn't need any of that stuff anymore. <laughs> just use a laser, chop, chop, you know. <laughs> But uh, there's a lot, I think, that could be, we could probably see the industry swinging into uh, more interesting cutting going on in the future. And the kit was simple enough. I don't have a price or a link or anything on it at this time. I will get it posted as soon as I possibly can. Just don't have any information from them on it at this time. I think they sent it over uh, as like a prototype to check it out. And uh, wow, this is this is a nice kit. It just, it just is. It's a great kit. And it improves the laser cutting a hundred percent better. It's just, I can't believe the difference from what I'm seeing with just a few tests. Uh, Thursday, got a new tool we'll be giving away. On um, Thursday, a, a nice new tool that's expensive. What's new, right? Uh, all the Amazon links are back, back up and rolling. Uh, we had to go through some legal hassle, whatever descriptions and stuff to get that straightened out, but I think everything's all fixed. So. All the old shows, the old linking and everything is back up and rolling again for product and stuff that we've shown in the past. So that was a, that was nice to you know get that off our backs. And uh, we're moving forward. So uh, Thursday we'll have a new tool to look at. Not as new as this one was. We're, we'll have a new tool to look at that should be interesting. And uh, it's a, more of a home improvement kind of thing or it could be construction. It could be, there's a lot of places where it could be used. So it's, it's a great item. And again, and that great item, we'll be doing a we'll be doing a giveaway uh, starting Thursday. We'll hopefully we'll get back to draws and Amazon linking and everything else, so we can get the show back up to where it normally was at. Just had some stumbling, you know. The uh, other thing I've got to do is uh, I've got some more equipment coming, more tools coming in that uh, are leaning towards this laser stuff. And like I said, I think there's quite a bit more future in here than what we're seeing right now. It's kind of like a 3D printers. When they first came out, they sort of made a lot of toys and stuff with them. Now you get 3D printers and you can make, you know, all kinds of incredible uh, things from them. And that, that's, that's still uh, an area that's still a lot of room for improvement yet before that uh, really hits a, a place where every household should have one or something. So just an opinion, I guess, at this point. The engravers and the cutters like this here are really hobbyists and craft people for the time being, but uh, we'll see where that goes. I don't know. It's, uh, it's getting interesting out there. Hey, thanks for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, anyway. Thanks for watching, and I'm out of here. Over and out.